Uh, mm, okay, okay. Flame Alchemist, I just want to say. Just want to say. Really scared. Also, I'm going to take a guess that you like Full Metal Alchemist, which, by the way, is a great show. Do you like original or Brotherhood? Better! <sighs> well, good news. Good news and bad news. Uh, bad news. We were about 15 feet from the bonfire. <laughs> good news. Um, I don't have any. <laughs> Let's go repair the ring. Oh, good news. We're right next to the ring guy. Yay. That's not very good news. Uh, so close. So close. It's fine. I can run back there really fast. Uh, t -t 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 repair. Fix. Thank you. And we're going back. And away we go. Full Alchemist, I'm very curious for your opinion on the Full Metal Alchemist situation. I know I screamed in the middle of it because I was dying horribly, but still curious. How did these statues get up here? Did they climb? Because I want to know how they did it. Because I want to do it. So... Usually, I get off here, but I can't because the ladder goes all the way down. <laughs> Can I get onto that little ledge and then, like, jump over? Do you think that'll work? I'm going to try. It's not going to end very well, but I, I really, really hate this jump. And there's a bonfire right here. Although, hold up. That leads me to the rat world. If I go down, I skip the entire rat area. Oh, I didn't even think about that. You skip a ton of stuff. Which is kind of awesome. At the same time, kind of bad. <laughs> uh, they totally sprout later during the night. Oh, okay. I have amazing lower body strength or upper body strength. What strength did it require to do this stance? I don't know. I'm going to say core. You know, but you know what? You're looking good. Like the pink hair? Like the eye? Ah, okay, let's just go over here and fall some more. Ow! But okay, all we did was shatter all the bones in our ankles. So we're good. Because in Dark Souls terms, that's like a good day. Um, <sighs> I really, my favorite part of a stream is when you get somewhere new that you've never been to before. Which is awesome, and awesome, and awesome. We're not there right now. Right now it's just a, hey guys, let's all pretend like we weren't here five seconds ago, okay? Great. Uh, we'll fall down here. We'll heal quickly. We'll hit this guy with the thing. And then we begin the casting, oh no. Uh, where are the other ones? You're coming out of here the wrong order. This is not the order you had last time. Yeah, come on. Last time, it was so nice and handy and, like, hitting things that I wasn't even aiming at. But this time, it's like, no, no, no. you got to specifically aim. Gosh. Shard, uh, that's pine resin of the fire type, I think? I haven't seen fire pine resin, but cool. Now we have two of them. For whatever enemies are weak to fire. I'm going to guess that since I can magicify my already magic weapons, I am able to put resin onto weapons that are already modified. So that would be amazing. So Dex and Imp build is pretty sweet. I love it a lot. Uh, it's not my favorite build, but the magic's really strong. This isn't really much dex. I literally have just enough dex, I'll show you. I have just enough dex to use my whip, and then nothing else. I have 20 dexterity, 7 strength, a bunch of attunement, and a bunch of faith, and everything else is the exact way it was when I started the game. And I only got that because I was like, oh my goodness, I got this rare whip from the little birds early in the game because I just got really lucky. And I was like, this is amazing. Let's let's use this whip. And so we have been. But at the end of the day, like at, when I'm fighting for realties and I've gotten most of the weapons and whatnot, this probably isn't what I'm going to use. Like, I love this whip to death. It's awesome. But if I was going to use this whip as a more legitimate weapon, I would probably be using a, a bow build. Because, let me pass. Bows are also very enjoyable in this game, and they're just strong, and they're way better. I played a lot of Dark Souls 1. Like, Dark Souls 2, I'm not great at because I don't have the same knowledge of it like I did in Dark Souls 1. But in Dark Souls 1, I played, like, a ton of that, like, PvP and all the fun stuff. Or all the really enjoyable stuff, anyway. It's, it's all fun, but, like, I really love the PvP in the first game. I'm sad it's not as, uh, as prevalent here, but whatever. Who got a gutter? Man, that took a lot less time than last time, didn't it? It's like we're learning or something. But what I, I in that game... Bows were useless. Their only function was to do cheap things, like break the game in silly little ways and pattern glitch through a bunch of hilarious stuff, which was still fun, but kind of useless otherwise. In this game, you can use a bow as a legitimate weapon. I did the... 
I did. Hmm. I. <laughs> oh boy. You know, there are times in my life when I look at myself right up in the face. I, I need a rock. When I look at myself right up in the face and I say, you have beautiful eyes because they're white for some reason. But then I look at myself in the mirror and I say, what are you doing? Like, wow, like sometimes you're doing an accomplishing amazing thing and then other times you're doing this. So I'm like, oh yeah, I should probably stop dying every half of a second. That would help greatly. I'm gonna repair this again. I really enjoy that my blacksmith doesn't give me too much lip. I mean, he kind of gives me lip, but at the same time, he doesn't give me too much for fixing the ring a million times. At this point, I'm going to imagine it's more solder than actual ring. Like, he's like, oh, is the gem still there? Great. I've reforged the rest of the ring. You know what? Here's a new one. Just drop that piece of shit down. Anywho. Dude, kill the dragon tails. I'm, I'm so sad. That there are no tail cutting offs like mini games in this one. It was awesome in the first game to get secret weapons even if you didn't need them by cutting off tails. I thought that was really cool. But in this game, it's not that way. Okay, you know what? That was my third time. Third time, one is the charm. Second is probably the last time I'm ever gonna get that jump. Like after this, I think I'm doomed. Good news is I think I've learned my lesson at that last bit is don't roll, just walk. That's probably a good idea. Or roll from like a thousand feet backwards. And uh, we're gonna be good. We're gonna be good. I will learn from every death. And I will accomplish things never before accomplished. Okay, they've been accomplished, but not that be. Oh! That wasn't what I meant to do, but alright. Okay! I, 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 I was so panicked for a moment there. Like, I lost my voice. I was like, this is it. We're gonna die. But it's okay. Because I cast really fast! Ah, uh, yeah, we're back to the auto-locking thing. There we go. Is it cool that I've already memorized how many enemies are here? Oh, what? You never, you never finished the first game? I mean, I understand that. The ending of the first game, really cool, though. <laughs> yeah, invasions in the first game were kind of a huge thing, which I enjoyed. Uh, I hated them at first. But then, like, you reach a critical turning point where you become the bully, and you, like, get good enough to invade other people who don't want you there, and then you enjoy that as well. It's a horrible, vicious cycle that never ends. Uh, but this game doesn't have it, because in this game there is no infinite invading item. Uh, there are infinite invading locations, but not infinite invading items, which has taken a lot of the love out of the, um, the Dark Souls 2 environment. People so far have been loving this game, which is great, because it's a good game. I really like it a lot. And more bosses is always cool. But at the same time, a lot of people are like, dude, I played Dark Souls for the invasions. And you can be a bell bro in this game. And bell bros are cool because you get to invade by the bell and that's fun. And like there are uh, PvP matches in this game that had even less consequence than they ever did before, which is awesome. Like you can invade somebody and never, you don't even get a blood stain. You just don't win. And then there are other times where you can get into an invasion where only they can lose, which is also cool. Like there are some really neat twists to the Dark Souls mechanic of invasions which is great because they were good in the first game and it was fun to see them do some innovation but the fact that they took out main red invasions not took out but made so hard to use is really unfortunate because in this game you only get cracked red eyes and those things are not as ever not as prevalent as you'd like was that so fucking hard oh my god just we did it we did it right that looks like death. Uh, how do I get over there? How do I do this? Can I go in here? Yeah, I can. Doop doo. What's behind me? Nothing. How do I get down there? I feel like. Oh god. I'm using a dagger. <laughs> just want to point that out. I just never. Oh no. 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 Mm -mm. No, oh no. I can't get back up here. Oh no, oh, oh no. That's the closest platform. Yeah. Yeah. What's down there? That's why I fell earlier, right? Do you think I'll, do you think I'll survive the fall? Wait, really? You got red invasions? Really? Well, I imagine it would be the same person because no one's invading, but that's 
That's actually kind of cool. One, I'm sorry, but two, that's pretty neat. Because uh, evasions don't happen very often. It's just a lot harder to connect to people in co-op these days. I have to jump somewhere. I can't see anything. I didn't bring the light spell. I see signs down there. I think that's where I have to go. Because I'll never make it into that little hut. And I'll die from the fall. I'm going to die from the fall anyway, but... Wish me luck! Oh my god, I'm alive! Pulling out the whip. Pulling up the spells. We have a chance. There's a bonfire. There's a bonfire. I knew one of them was close. I just... I knew it. I believed. Oh, son of a bitch. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Nope. Out of my face. Get out. Oh, wait. I think I'm in your house. Oh, this is awkward. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I just killed your entire family. Oh, and your children. Uh, this is... Mm, yeah. Well, thank you for the your hat. Uh, awkward. I think I just killed everybody. Oh, don't make me... You're gonna make me jump? You're gonna make me... There was a bonfire right there. Right. I don't... I'm tired of jumping. I'm so... Ugh. Thank you. Thank you for the GG. Uh, oh, shield staff combo. That's a good call. Uh, staffs are good, and they cast spells, and spells are good. But at the same time, I... In this game, as you've probably noticed, there are very few 100% block shields. I have 7 strength, so none of them work for me. There is no heater shield in this game. So I'm just not using a shield, because it hasn't worked out so well! Aha! Oh. Oh, this wasn't a... This wasn't a bonfire. This was a... Guy with a torch. F fl flame Alchemist, I'm... I'm sad. I, uh... We just made it very far, far away. I, I think we've, I think we've passed two bon, three, three bon, four, three or four bonfires, and uh, you know, there's a part of me that that's starting to think we're never, we're never gonna make it home. <laughs> we're uh, oh, we're here. We're at the end of the gutter, and we haven't found a single, single thing. These are all gonna shoot at me. Watch out! Decapitation. Oh, and th this is the other door. I need this door as well. I also need the key first, but whatever. Uh, break that. I said break that. Alright, cool. Oh, holy. Why did you shoot at me through the door? That's cheating. Oh, anyhow. Yeah, I know. I thought it was a bonfire. Oh, you changed your staff. What what, uh, what staff are you using? Do I got, I've only, I've only gotten one other staff, but it, it was, it was weaker. Like, all the spells I cast it with did less damage, and they took longer to cast, so I was like, this is just absolute bullshit. I'm just waiting for the floor to give out on me again. Is there an enemy here? I'm, like, we, we've made it far. And that's good. But, there's nothing here. Go away! I destroyed those. What? what? What is here? There's nothing here. I can light that little torch. Okay, guess we're going back. Uh, was there another way to go? We can't go that way. We went up there already. I'm a little bit lost. Oh, wait. Uh, can I fall down this middle part? Yes, I can. Oh, this looks dangerous. Huh, I'm alive. Ready for horse? The game? Horse is a fun game. Played in basketball or commonly by Rooster Teeth, or they used to do it in video games, the Vigimio games. There's a scary thing in here. I don't like him. Oh, that's the wrong spell. Spell casting time. Okay, I'm a little bit scared. Come after me, bro. Come after me. Oh, wow. This whip is way stronger. Oh, God. Oh, I was in the chat. I was in the chat. No, leave me alone. All right, cool. Man, I would have been so sad if I died. Look in chat. You, wait, but you, you changed the staff, but this is the staff you get at the beginning. Like, I haven't changed my staff. You you talked to the... Yeah, yeah, the spell dealer No Man's Wharf is where I've gotten... Like, I mean, I'm just using, like, Great Soul Arrow, this which we talked about. Soul Spear is cool, and you get that in Huntsman's Cove. 
is hidden inside of a little locked cage. Uh, kind of hard to get to, but if you get to it, it's a great spell. It takes 40 uh, to use, which is really annoying, but it's, it's really powerful. It has two uses, though. I usually just save it for bosses, and that doesn't do nearly as much damage as I want it to, so... Mm. Great Soul Arrow is probably my favorite spell in the game so far, because it actually has a bunch of uses and still does a lot of damage. So, like, if you talk about damage... If we're talking about, like, damage per second, Great Soul Arrow wins for duration, because you can keep casting them. A part of me always wonders, should I just have, like, four of those out, and then just have, like, 60 casts, which would be great. So... Okay, you didn't change it. Sorry, for some reason I was reading in my brain that you totally did. I want to change it. I know there's one down here that you can change it to that's better. It casts faster. I think it scales a bit better, too. But you need the key to open up those two doors I couldn't open. So... Oh, wait, I just realized something worse. We don't have a bonfire here, so getting back here to open that second door is going to be probably one of the most arduous things in, exist in existence. Do I go over here? I'm doing it. I think we're doing this whole area backwards, by the way. Which is kind of weird. And enemy? Enemy! Yeah, oh man, if I had timed that knife stab wrong, even by a moment. Oh no. Go away, go away. It's cool. We got this. Oh, I hit the wrong one, but alright. Just gonna cast all the spells. Just gonna cast all the spells. And then... Come on! Get him! Alright, we got him. Isn't there another one, though? Like, right there? Uh, give me this. Prisoner Wave Floss. Alright, not great, but mm, there's worse. Dun 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 Bonfire, yeah? No, no. Not at all. Okay, you're clearly gonna shoot me when I try to open this. And you're a Mimic! You're not a Mimic. Okay, we're good, we're good. I've, I've panicked for a moment there. You get more uses by buying the same spell again, and then equipping it several times. Uh, there are some other items that will let you increase the castings. Like that dude, uh, the the first, the, the guy you're talking to, the first spell salesman. Oh. Whew. Uh, if you go and talk to him with like 30 or 40 intelligence, he will give you a ring, which is a good ring, but it has a backside. It'll give you more castings for your spells, but lower your health by like a lot. And it's a cool ring, but I'm always afraid to use it, because I die too much as is. And, like, the reason I die isn't usually I ran out of spells. It's usually... Not that happened, mind you, but it's usually because I got my ass ruined by an enemy. And having less health wasn't gonna fix that. Uh, stop. Stop with the poisoning. You know, I'm just gonna say goodbye. Those guys... If you get poisoned here... Oh, I'm gonna get poisoned. I'm gonna get poisoned! Okay, we somehow didn't get poisoned. Awesome! Success stories! Dun dun. Dun 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 dun! Cool, we got him. Give me your torch. Hey, you did. That was actually very nice of him. I think... I think I'm doing this whole area backwards. That is not actually... Uh, that's, the, that's just a torch. I'm learning now. I'm learning the difference between them. But yeah, you can get, uh, let's see, there's one gray soul arrow from that guy you talked to. There's a second one, like, way later, you get to an old iron keep of lava. It's a very scary place. Oh, no! Oh, I thought you were the exploding enemy. I was, I, again, was so convinced I was dead. Were you? Alright, well. So, he doesn't fall, but the item falls. That's just lovely. Okay, great. Oh, I guess we're down to life gems. Oh, not down to, but I always like to keep a few of those flasks. So this is a better, it's a better heal item. Oh, yeah, baby. I got you in the middle of your attack animation. Tread carefully. Tread wisely. Okay. We broke. Uh, a lot of places to fall, a lot of places to die. Not a fan of any of that stuff. Is there an enemy here, too? No, there isn't. Where are we? Oh, there's an enemy. Not anymore. And there's an enemy. Not anymore. No, I have my whip out, but what? Stop. No more enemies. I I deny your enemy -ness. Go away. Gosh. Poison throwing knife. That's really not useful, but... Okay. Is this another poison throwing knife? Poison throwing knife. We'll never use those. With your first spell dealer... Let's see. I'm trying to remember what he sells you. He sells you... I mean, use Great Soul Arrow against all the bosses, because it's really good, and still 15 casts. Basic Soul Arrow isn't bad. And the nice part about carrying that around with you is you don't have to feel bad about using it. Like, every time I cast... Whoop. Huh. I don't have the strength of that, but that's kind of a cool shield. Uh, like, Great Solero, 
I'm like, I guess I can cast sleep because I have a bunch of them. But whenever I cast Homie Soul Mass, I feel bad because I'm, I'm one down. And Soul Spear, I haven't even cast any. Magic Weapon, I can use all the time because it's, la it's casting lasts for 100 years. But Great Soul Arrow should be your bread and butter for now, for when you need to really fight something that's dangerous. And Normal Soul, soul Arrow will get you through most of the rest of it. Uh, I think he sells the second one of that, so if you want to have three attunement slots, you're probably going to want three or four by the end of the game. I mean, you can have as many as ten, which really isn't a bad idea, it's just not the best idea. Uh, there's a bad guy down here, I don't want to fight him, but we'll make it work. Uh, magic weapon. Wow, that was way easier than I, like, ever dreamed of. But cool, we did it. Yay! Oh, gotcha. By the way, by the way, in just a minute, ooh, that's a, I'm just not going to go over there. You know what? That's just what I'm going to do. Not go there. Poison arrows, also not useful. But to some people. Uh, okay. Why can I go out here? I don't know why I can go out here. Sorry, I'm getting lost, and that always worries me in Dark Souls, because that usually means I'm going to die. And this is a fog gate. Uh, there's not a boss here. There's not a boss here. You have four slots. That's awesome. You should be focusing, you know, have your great soul arrow, and then... I mean, what spells do you have access to? I don't really remember what he sells. I know great soul arrow's there. Does he sell great heavy soul arrow? If he, if he sells heavy soul arrow, fuck that shit. Great soul arrow's just better. But great heavy soul arrow is alright. Like, you'll, you'll want to replace it for things like soul spear later, which are about the same cast time, but do just way more damage. But at the same time is a good boss fighter because you're not fighting bosses that have all the health they're mostly just annoying for attack patterns so to use something like soul arrows to get you places great soul arrows and great heavy soul arrows to fight bosses would be a really good markup okay good yeah just use great heavy soul arrow as your as your last resort against all the really scary stuff the black knights and the bosses that's what you'll want not that there are black knights in this game but you get the hopefully you get the comparison um what? oh I see, I saw him at the last second. Is this the ladder? I remember if you go down the wrong ladder, you die. This is... Duh, I just tried to shield bash a man who has no shield. Aha, gotcha. This does not appear to be the right direction, so... Going back up. Uh, that looks like the right direction, though. That ladder goes to the bottom. Or not the bottom, but it goes way farther down than... It's behind a door. It's behind a, it's behind a wall. Um, can I get there? Please? Oh, it was like the first ladder option. No, it's this ladder. This ladder? I don't know. Soul Barrage. Oh, the, the, like, the baby soul spare that shoots a thousand things? Yeah, that one's not, not terrible. Its biggest problem is three uses. Which is, like, a detriment in and of itself. Um, and it's casting time, it's, it's quick to start up, but it takes a hundred years to finish casting. Like, you're sitting there forever in spell cast time, just shooting a million little spell orbs. It's a great spell, and actually one worth having for several later boss fights, because it, it, it hits so many things, like, it's such a big area. You can use it to hit somebody with all of them and do, like, uh, I'm mean, honestly, just hundreds of thousands of damage. But, at the same time, a lot of bosses are too small. So it's a very situational weapon. Uh, spell, I should say. Like, against anything that's huge, super useful. Uh, Old Iron King. That's the first one that comes to mind. Uh, the Rat Guard. Not the Rat Guard. The Rat Security? The bigger... There's like, there's a giant rat you fight. And it, it's, it's, like, literally perfect against him. Why won't it focus? Oh, God, no. Oh, thank God you're useless. And... Watch out! Alright. Let's pull out the legitimate weapon. Maybe put up a homie soul mass. Magic up the weapon. So everything dies very quickly. You don't need it after No Man's Wharf. Uh, the, the soul... Not soul geyser, whatever it's called. I know I know this what you're talking about. Oh, shit. Save my fucking life. Boom! Oh, this is way easier with the whip. Why would I just use this all the time? Alright, because it'll break. Uh, it's actually already about to break. And I'm about to break. Oh. But no, I don't think you need to use it after No Man's Wharf. After that is the last Bastille, which is a really cool area. But, I mean, no part of it screams large enemies. I mean, there are some that are bigger and some that are smaller. Lots of dogs, which is annoying. But, like, no part of that area 
is like colossal house sized enemies where you'll be able to hit them all the time. So it would be better for you just to even have just a basic soul arrow. Oh god, no. Nope! That was that was it. That was like me staring death in the face. And I didn't die, which is great. Oh, come on, gotta hit him. You, you have to hit him. Okay, I don't even need to enchant it, it just kills people. The knife is gonna break! Man, we are at wit's end here. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. It's okay. These are full of poison. That's not the spell I meant to cast. Just break them. And break them. Too close, too close! Ho ho ho. That might have destroyed my equipment. Or it got very close anyway. Nope. Gotta hit it, come on. Yeah, there we go. Nice thing about spells is they'll break these pots. Arrows will not, but throwing knives will. Mm. Let's see, sorry, I'm reading what you're saying. There's a crowd of five enemies attacking me at a closed part. What should I do against them? In No Man's Wharf or the place just past it? Because if, if you're referring to the place just past it... Um, oh, dude, Zerdy, what's up, buddy? He's a buddy of mine who plays... Games of play. Ouch. We met him streaming, too. Uh, Freaking bunch of you are. Those are very useful. Um, is this the bond? This is the bonfire. We made it. We went through two zones without getting a bonfire. We just skipped so many things. So many. So many. Yeah, after No Man's Wharf, you're in a place called The Last Bastille, which is a really cool place. One of my favorite architectures in the game. Very nice. Very gray. There, you're talking about you open a steel door and then they're like five dudes, yeah? I'm going to wait for your response, but I'm pretty sure that's the area you're talking about. Till then, I'm going to panic my balls off that we made it this far. So happy. Uh, I just turned off my enchantment for no reason. Like, oh, no, no, no. The reason this area is fun <clears throat> is you get to just deal with all of these things. So, I'm going to show you the coolest secret ever. I'm talking ever. It's not ever, but like I'm, I'm excited because this is a secret I've never seen before, which makes me happy because I've never seen it before, and that's cool. Uh, nope. Break this. Ah, we got it. It's also how you get into the secret area in the game, which is going to be cool. We can't do it yet, but we're, we're getting closer to it. There is a little ledge. Do you see that little ledge down there? You can walk on that. So I guess I got to go over... Alright, that didn't work particularly well. I need to jump there. No, too far, too far, too far! You know the worst part? This is where we're supposed to go. This is the secret. This is the secret. And we die. Because <laughs> the poison! It's always the poison! Uh, okay, so you open the steel door, there are five enemies, and they're very scary because there's so many of them. They're not particularly hard one-on-one, -on -one. you've got good magic, but they push you back into a little corner, it's really hard to kill them. The good news is that little box they push you into has a break in the wall, and you can jump back into the long, narrow or, c narrow corridor area again if you need to. And, I mean, if you fought your way there from the bonfire, then they're already dead, and you can have way more space to kill them as you need to. Or, you can use lion strats, which is way easier. You don't fight them. You open that door and you run forward. As opposed to running left where they all come from, just run straight forward and there's a bunch of stairs. If you run all the way down all the stairs and look to your left, there's a giant ladder. It's really tall. And you can just climb it and walk it right up to the boss door. It's way easier. You just run past them. They cannot catch up to you. You are always faster unless you're like wearing 140% armor weight. Then... Then I have no advice for you. You just are going to have to slog through everything. Also, don't do that. But in general, like, you can run past them. And, yeah. Like, the, it, it, it's either pull them out until you have tons of distance and then just pick them off one by one with magic in general. Or just run. Just run and keep running and never stop running. Uh, you know, we've reached a point where I don't... I need to find Lucatiel. Lucatiel is very cool. She's a cool character. My favorite. And you 40%. Dude, that's awesome armor weight. That's really awesome. 40% is awesome. Your rolls will be super long. Uh, the longer, the lower your percentage, the farther your roll is. Boop. 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 Anyway, the faster your agility, the... Or, sorry. The faster your agility, the more invincibility frames it is. The lower your percentage, the longer it is, which is pretty cool. 
I think agility might make it faster as well. I'm not sure though. But yeah, uh, I, I highly recommend. If you've got 40% armor weight, you can easily outrun them. Just run, run down. Don't run to the left because it like don't don't open the door and run left because then you'll run into them and, and they'll just kill you. That way, we'll also get you to the boss door, which is cool. But there's no reason to go that way because you don't need to. So yeah, just run down. The long way. There's even like a human effigy or something fun down there on a on a corpse by a broken door. It's cool. Oh. So the problem is, I'm going to run forward a bit and get shot. And then all these black scary things are going to come out of the ground and it's just going to be an unfortunate encounter for all of us. Do you think it's easier to get poisoned now and then run forward? Or is it easier to just try without getting poisoned? Can I run around this? I can. I'm going to need to remember that. Aha! Oh, he's in that pot. I know. I can see him. I can see his little tendril right there. Ugh. We gotta run it. We gotta run it. So we need to jump. Are those pots? Was that where it was or later? I don't remember. It's by his pots. Okay. We made it. We are alive. This is the door we can't open. Okay? But we're about to get to the part where we can open it. And that's where it gets cool. Okay, there's a body there that is dead. Kind of worrisome. Uh, a lot of this looks like Endless Abyss. Okay. We... Whew. Okay. Oh, you saw us on the stream? That's awesome. I've never done this before, and I didn't know it existed until, like, yesterday. I'm really scared. I know scary things are waiting for me in the dark. That's all I know. I also know I'm not supposed to fight them one-on-one one -on -one or even close to them. So I'm supposed to use like soul spears and arrows and not fight them. Oh, how'd you die? You died going backwards. You died fighting something behind. Oh, something knocked you over. Something. Okay, whatever's back here is big. Noted. Or just very strong. Uh. Oh! So I saw the little orange of the right-handed club. I know these are these are, these are giants. Uh, yeah, I saw the little right. Oh, why are they giants? I've never actually fought them. The only other time you really need to deal with them, you have to deal with them anyway. You can let them die of their own accord. So, how far is my magic go? How about farther up? 